one. That one's actually not talking about necessarily just osmosis, yeah. but it's talking about tonicity versus osmolarity. Yeah. Okay. So those things, the channels, and then we can hit what other questions you guys have after we hit those. Is that all right? Good okay. starting point. Okay. It is. I mean, I understand most of everything else. Okay. So, so real quick, Maya, you said that you felt like you did understand that, correct? Right. Okay. Do you feel like you could explain it? Um, because that's how you know you really understand. You really it. understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I got out of that is that the point nine was regular. Okay. Point nine what? Percent. Uh, what? sodium. Oh, yeah. Sodium, I guess. So zero point nine percent of NaCl, sodium chloride. Mm -hmm. Right. Would be same, which is osmotic, right? No. Iso osmotic. Iso, iso means same. Iso means same. Okay. Iso osmotic. There we go. So let's let's break it apart real quick. Okay. Um, what is osmotic versus tonic? Osmotic is solution of the solution reacts to itself. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Does it have to do with the salt in the water? Is that what, the pressure or something? So, so osmolarity is a measure of the number of particles, okay? Okay. Tonicity is what's going to happen. To the cell. To the cell, okay? So, for example, I'll write two different things. So, C6H12O6, that's a glucose molecule, okay? Versus NaCl. If I had one mole, of each, what are their osmolarities? So osmo is just the number of particles, you said? Yeah, it's osmoles per liter, osmoles. technically. So can you say that question again? Okay, I'm, I'm asking a preemptive question to see if you understand something. Yeah. Right. yeah. So That's if I had one mole uh -huh. of glucose, glucose mm -hmm. How many osmoles would I have? One. One. If I had one two. mole. Okay, so two osmoles. Are you guys both okay with that? Yes, because it's two different. So it's if something dissociates in water or breaks apart. Mm -hmm. For example, ions. So NaCl. Um, some other ions would be like Ca, Cl2, which would break up if we had one mole. It would break up into three osmoles. Because there's a Ca, and then there's two Cls. Okay? Is that alright? Okay. So, that's osmolarity. <coughs> However, the molarity of these guys would just be the moles per liter, so this would be one mole. One. So all of these have a molarity of one, but they have an osmolarity of one, two, and three. Okay? That's osmolarity. Tonicity is what happens because of osmosis. Okay? It's always in re reference to a cell, which is what you're saying about 0.9% NaCl, and also the other one that they use is five percent glucose, uh, right? That they uses a different name though. It's dextrose. They use dextrose. Yeah, dextrose. Yeah. The same thing though, right? No. Pretty close to the same thing. What's different? <laughs> um, dextrose diffuses straight across the cell membrane, mm -hmm. <clears throat> meaning that they're. Imagine it like there is a leak channel for dextrose. But not for so glucose. it's correct. So it's always going to flow down its concentration gradient. Okay. Can chair. Sorry. Sorry, you got a broken chair. It's pretty broken too. Okay. So this is in relation. This is in a cell. Yeah. Osmolarity. What you're doing is you are just comparing 
the number of particles between two things. It can be between two solutions or between a solution and a cell. Tonicity is going to be what happens to a cell in that solution. Is that clear? Yes, I've got that. It's the next step. But. Okay. <laughs> so examples. Best way to learn is just... Well, I get the cell it. part. Like with the cell, that makes sense to me. Okay. So, so, we'll see if it makes sense depending on what I say about this. So, if we put in a 0.9% NaCl solution and a 10% dextrose solution, the solution compared to the cell is what? It in is terms of osmolality. It's iso isomotic. So you think it's isoosmotic. What do you think? Hyperosmotic. Oh wait, so no yeah, it is hyper. Yes, right. Hyper, why? Because it's ten percent and not five percent. Because there are more particles out here mm -hmm. than there are in here. What about tonicity? It's hyper. It's hypertonic? Hypertonic, yeah. Why do you think it's hypertonic? Because there's, oh wait. Because yeah, there's more outside the cell than inside the cell. So good thought process, but there's a catch. Okay, okay so what do you think? It's hypo. Do you think it's hypo? Something about lower. Oh, because. No, wait. It's, it's ISO. It's ISO because. Why is I say that dextrose is always zero when you're comparing to nicity? Yes. I'm right. going to put it in different words so <laughs> right. it makes a little more. <laughs> a little more sense? A little more sense. Okay, there's something called penetrating particles and non penetrating particles. Okay? Non-penetrating particles it doesn't go back and forth. can't go back and forth, right? So what happens when they're non-penetrating? The water, the osmosis, will diffuse to where there's a greater concentration. Oh, so that's why it diffuses out. That's why it would diffuse out if NaCl were higher. Okay, but dextrose can diffuse. Dextrose is a penetrating particle. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so as of current, you're right. This is hyper um, osmotic, mm -hmm. but it's isotonic because when the cell is placed in the solution, the end result is yeah, that more dextrose is good it, what's, the it's going to be what, 7.5 in each? Sounds good. Yeah. If I did my math wrong, forgive me. It doesn't matter, it's the thought that counts. So it would diffuse mm -hmm. until it was equal in bulk because oh. it's a penetrating oh. particle. Okay? Can do another example. Okay, I'm gonna take these down because you need to know what the percents are inside the cell. By yourself. What about the isomolarity though? That's the part. Is iso osmotic? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll hit that in one second. Okay. Just because I've already written this stuff. Yeah. yeah. What is this solution in terms of osmolarity compared to the cell? I, I erase the numbers because you should memorize those. It's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Is it still iso? Mm-hmm. Iso osmotic. Why do you think it's iso osmotic? Oh, we're talking about tenacity, right? So, so in terms of osmolality, what is it? What's osmolality mean again? Number. Number of particles, okay? So which one has more particles? The inside? That could be wrong. The inside. The inside. Why? Because the 5% is in there? Because the 5%, because you have how much of NaCl? 0.9. So 0.9% NaCl, 5%. Oh, you're talking about the osmo. Oh, okay. Sorry, yes. Dextrose. So it's a, the osmolarity 
right? So this is hypoosmotic. Right, hypoosmotic Hypo uh -huh. comparison. Because there's less of it than in the sinus. So. What about tonicity? I think that I got right, right? No? Which yeah. one did you say? Iso. Iso. Tonic? Tonic. Isotonic. Yeah, isotonic's right. Why? Because the dextrose will just diffuse out of the cell. Correct. So this is isotonic. So an isotonic solution, mm -hmm. but a hyper, uh, hypo osmar. 